All right, guys, so I know that we sent out a press release uh, a week or so ago about the iOS 16 where iPhone 12 Pro Max hard OLED and the iPhone 11 Pro Max soft OLED were having some issues. Uh, the issue with the 11 Pro Max was that there was some intermittent touching or some dead spots on the digitizer. So that issue got actually resolved on the 16.2, uh, iOS 16.2, so you don't need to do any programming for that. Uh, but like we mentioned in the press release that we're going to come up with the option for the uh, shop owners to have a solution in store that they can offer their customer if they come in with a uh, blacked out 12 Pro Max or if they have uh, current inventory that's um, not compatible with, um, with the iOS 16. This is kind of the solution where, where you can program your current inventory or if your customer brings it back, uh, you can program their device and it will be compatible with the iOS 16. So here you can see this is a 12 Pro Max. You power it on, it works. It's uh, This screen has already been updated, so I'm gonna use a different screen to show you how to do it. First, let's unplug this. Then we're gonna, then we're gonna plug in a, a screen that has not been programmed yet. Now I can kind of feel the device turning on, but it's not showing any display. So since the screen has not been programmed, it's not compatible with iOS 16. So it's going to show basically a black screen and um, not have any display. So now I can show you, yeah, as you can hear it turned on, but there's no display. So now I'm going to show you how to program this. So this is the R200 programming device or True Tone programming box. Uh, this can also be used to, tr uh, to transfer True Tone from the original screen to the aftermarket. And it can also be used to program your uh, 12 Pro Max screens. Uh, so it's gonna come with three different boards. One of them is gonna be pre-installed already. And there's two other ones. Uh, there's one that says V3 on it. There's one that says um, V1. The one that you need is the V4, which is already installed on this one. And this is the connector where we're going to plug in the screen. Okay, so I plugged it in and then you press and hold the on button to turn it on. So this is where it's tricky. Uh, when, it's, when it asks you for the language selection, Chinese or English, uh, don't select the language. Press the right button and press and hold it. You're gonna see something that says writing over here on the top left side. So we're gonna press and hold it. There, as you can see, it says writing. The LED is gonna start blinking red. And once it turns to green, that means the um, programming is completed. So just give it a few seconds. All right, so the programming is basically completed. Now we can unplug the screen. And we can plug it into the device. So you can see the Apple logo shows up. We're going to wait for it to turn on and test the touch functionality also. All right, so now it's fully working. Uh, let me show you the iOS. It's on 16.0.2, so everything seems to be working. Um, the software is preloaded into this one, so you don't need to install any software or anything like that. It, it's basically ready to go right out of the box. Um, and this is available today to purchase on mobilecentrics.com. Thank you. Mobile Centrics is on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram.